thanks for coming to treadmillreviews.com again. Today we have another comparison video for you of two really popular, really great treadmills. Um, we have right here the Proform Pro 2000. We're going to be comparing it against Soul's F80. So both of these treadmills are highly rated for us. Um, the Pro 2000 is our top pick, our best buy for treadmills under $1,500. And the F80 is one of our favorites for treadmills between $1,000 and $1,300. If you go to their websites, um, their prices do fluctuate and they're slightly different in price. Um, currently, the Soul F80 is about $150 more than the Pro 2000. And that changes with sales and promotions that both companies do during the year, but they're roughly in the same price range. And there are so many similarities between these treadmills. Obviously, you know, visually they look really different, um, but when it comes down to like the main specifications and the really important parts, they're super duper similar. So I would love to give you an overall winner right now, but we're gonna actually go through all the similarities and differences in our video and then talk about why it's gonna mostly come down to personal preference in the end. So as we're comparing the Pro 2000 versus the F80, there's a very long list of similarities. It's much longer than their list of differences. But to give you a good idea, um, both of these treadmills have the same warranty. They both have a lifetime warranty on the frame, deck, and motor. They offer a five-year warranty for parts and a two-year warranty for labor. So same deal. Uh, they both have the same size motor. They have a 3.5 CHP motor in them. This is a, a decently sized motor. Usually you won't see more than like a 4.0 CH, CHP motor. Um, so 3.5 is still a strong motor and it's gonna be a good treadmill for anyone who's walking or jogging or even those who are gonna be putting a lot of miles on their treadmill throughout the week. Um, if you are considering putting a lot of miles on your treadmill daily, or if you have multiple people putting a lot of miles on your treadmill daily, I would recommend going with a higher rated motor. Um, but again, to their similarities, they both have a max speed of 12 miles per hour, which is very standard for most treadmills. Uh, they both have the same size running surface. So a 22 inch by 60 inch running surface is a nice big size for a treadmill. And that's gonna fit really the same user on both comfortably. They both have a hydraulic lift assist. So as you fold them, the treadmill actually does a lot of the work for you. It makes raising and lowering the deck really simple. Um, but I do wanna show you just the slight differences in those systems between these two treadmills. So with the Pro 2000, there's a handlebar that you can grab right here. The deck comes up nice and easy and it locks into place. So it's really sturdy. You don't have to worry about it falling down. The sole has a handle as well and it locks into place too. So that's a pretty sturdy treadmill. You'll see as I pushed it, it moves a little bit easier, but we'll address that in a second. So the main differences between their two lifts is the release. So on the Pro 2000, the release is right here. You kick this spot of the hydraulic and it will lower the belt. On the F80, the release is a hand lever right here. So you can just release the hand lever. And again, it will lower the deck by itself as well. But as they come down, though they can both lower themselves on their own, the F80 does come down a little bit harder, but I don't think either run any risk of damaging your floors. Um, we do keep treadmill mats underneath our treadmills though, so that's always a good idea. Um, I'll show you. We'll just release this guy and listen for the sound it makes as it comes down. Okay, so you can hear a little heavier of a thud with the F80. And then the Pro 2000, 
It comes down slightly slower, but it's a bit gentler, like noticeably gentler. Okay, so there's that little difference, but they both are easy to lift. Um, they both fold, which is a great bonus for saving space, and they both have that hydraulic system in them, so it's, it's awesome. They lock in place, they stay up. Um, more similar, similarities include their storage trays. You can see that the Soul F80 has these storage trays here, and they also have an added row down here. And it's the same for the Pro 2000. So we have our two cubbies, and we've got a, an additional tray down here. Um, they both have a full steel frame, so they're both really sturdy treadmills. And you know, if you are running on them, you don't see too much of a jiggle. I would say that the F80 is a little bit sturdier because it doesn't have the height on it. Um, so you ha don't have as much in your face moving as you're running on it. Whereas with the Proform, while you're running, it's really sturdy and great, but you do have more up by your face. So you might notice more movement from the treadmill itself while you're using it. They both come with two options for heart rate monitoring. They have the hand grips, which are fine, um, but the better way to monitor your heart rate is with the chest strap, and they both come with a Bluetooth chest strap. So this, when you wear it, it just Bluetooths right into your machine, and it tracks all your data. Um, it gives you a really accurate read of your heart rate, and it's really the best way to track your progress. Um, it's far more accurate than these hand grips. <clears throat> there are differences between their heart rate monitors, um, you can see they both have a plastic front. It's not necessarily super forming to your body. There are more comfortable chest straps out there. Um, but you know, they're easy to clean. You can wipe them down. This elastic part detaches. It's also adjustable, so it'll fit multiple users. And you can wash it in the washing machine. So it's the same on both. I will say that the sole chest strap is really like these snaps are really hard to get in there. Um, I imagine, you know, extended use over time, opening and closing it, maybe the plastic will soften a bit, but they're, they're kind of hard to get together. The bonus that the sole heart rate chest strap has is that you can replace the batteries when they die. Whereas Pro's, the Pro 2000 chest strap comes with this Polar chest strap and the battery is not replaceable. So it's kind of an expensive item to have where when the battery dies, you toss it in the trash and have to buy a new one. There are videos online that can show you how to like hack your way into the heart rate monitor, but that will, you know, nullify warranties and, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen if you're melting down plastic and cutting into it. So that is a bummer with the polar chest strap that you can't replace the battery when it dies. Let's get back to the similarities. There's a few more. Um, they both have speakers on them. The Proform gets a bit louder, but they both put out a good amount of sound and they both sound decently well. And um, with both of them, you can plug your audio device into the treadmill and project your music from those speakers. They both offer cushioning where one is not more cushioned than the other. There's not a clear winner between these two treadmills. Um, so they're very similar in their cushioning. Um, they both have the safety key, you know, like every other treadmill. And as far as assembly goes, they're both pretty easy to assemble. It takes one person to put all these parts together. Um, you will need two people when you're securing the console onto the treadmill. And one thing we do caution um, our users is to not pinch cables when you're placing the treadmill onto, when you're placing the console onto the treadmill. That's where a lot of your problems will come from. And um, we read a lot of complaints where people have electrical issues with their treadmill and it's, it's only because they've pinched a wire when they've secured the console onto the treadmill. So just watch out for that. But again, and that's a really long list of similarities with a lot of the key components being very similar. Um, but we'll get into the differences and talk about why personal preference is really going to come down to being the ultimate factor in these two treadmills.
Okay, so some of the significant differences between um, just general specs in these two treadmills. Again, it's the Pro 2000 from Proform and the F80 from Soul. Um, they both have a different weight capacity. Solt, Soul does a really good job of providing a treadmill with a higher weight capacity that beats pretty much all their competitors. Their weight capacity for the F80 is 375 pounds. Um, compared to the Pro, that has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. This is going to be um, a really big deciding factor for some users. And you know, if you're coming close to that weight limit, you can expect a little more longevity out of a treadmill that's built to support a higher weight limit. Um, they both are pretty sturdy, you know, full steel frame treadmills. But the Pro 2000 actually altogether weighs 320 pounds where the F80 weighs 278 pounds. Um, this makes a difference for moving your treadmill around. It's not a huge difference in weight, but it could mean the difference of one additional person helping you get it into place in your home. Um, the weight doesn't really play a factor on just moving your treadmill from place to place. Uh, what plays the biggest factor in that are the wheels that they have below them. And I'll show you again We'll fold these up. So you can see what I'm talking about. So the Pro 2000 has two wheels. They're right here on these ends of the feet. So to move this treadmill, you actually have to put your weight down here and pivot the treadmill on the wheels. So that's your 320 pounds that you're pivoting around. It's totally possible. It's gonna be a little harder on a uh, carpet, but it's doable. Now with the Soul F80, they have four wheels. So they've got two wheels right here. And then there's two wheels in the front on both sides. And um, it, it makes moving this treadmill a lot easier. So not only is it a little bit less heavy, it's 278 pounds, but to move it, you can just pull it and slide it around like this. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier to move around. So that's another consideration for you in, in just their general differences. Um, another difference is their incline range. Um, the F80 is a 0 to 15% incline, but the Pro 2000 offers a decline. So you can do like a minus 3% decline all the way up to 15% incline. And for me, you know, I really prefer that, having that option. Um, if you're using programs like iFit, it, it comes into play with a lot of the programs that they have where you do have decline training that's mixed in with your run in the pre-installed program. Um, and, you know, just on an easy day, I like to take it easy and do maybe like a little downhill run. I don't know what you want to use your decline feature for, but the F80 does not have that option. So there's a little bit of a decision to make between the, those two treadmills. Um, the incline controls are another big difference between the two treadmills. They both have a section on their console where you can jump between whole integers for your incline and your speed. Um, and then they also have up and down arrows where you can do smaller increments of change. Um, the difference is that on the F80, it doesn't offer every increment in incline change or speed, it jumps. So like one, three, five, seven, nine, 12, 15 is your incline. Um, whereas the Pro Form Pro 2000 is one, two, three, four, five, you know, all the way up to 15% for their incline. And you know, they have the minus three, minus two, minus one, and the zero option. Whereas there's no zero, you kind of have to pick about where you want to be and then adjust using their toggles with smaller increments. It's the same with the speed. Um, the F80 just kind of jumps between different increments where you can have like every whole number 
on your console for the Pro 2000. So, you know, if you run comfortably at like a six mile per hour pace and you want to hop on your treadmill and just hit six and go, you can. Or if you want to, you know, mid run, change your pace to something, um, you can do that on the Pro 2000 a little easier than you can on the F80. Whereas with the F80, like they don't offer a six or an eight or 10, you know, whatever those numbers are that you're looking for. So you have to hit the nearest one and then adjust your speed with their smaller increment toggles. Um, they, the difference also, there's also a difference with the buttons. Um, these are all flat, which I think are nice because they're easier to keep clean and you have less problems with them jamming. Um, but down here, these are their smaller increment changes for their incline and their decline on the F80. They are raised buttons and they are on the handlebar. And this can kind of get in the way sometimes. So if you're, you know, jumping off to the sides of your treadmill and you grab it onto the handlebars, you have to get used to not hitting these buttons and adjusting because they are really short handlebars. And it gives you really just a little bit of space to grab onto the handlebar without accidentally messing with your adjustments. Um, that's not a problem with the Pro 2000. These are also just a flat push button. There's nothing raised, you know, buttons aren't getting jammed or getting gunk in them um, and easy to clean. So I do prefer that with the Pro 2000. They do both have fans, uh, but the sole fan is pretty wimpy. It um, doesn't really have an effect on you when you're running. It's kind of pointless. So expect to have a different fan next to your treadmill. Whereas the Pro Form is a little bit better, um, but there's definitely better fans. Like if you ever look at a Nordic track machine, they have the best fans and they like produce a lot of wind. Whereas the Pro Form, the Soul, they just don't really compare as well. So they both have okay fans, but the Pro Form definitely has a bit stronger of a fan for you. Um, lastly, um, a big difference, well, it's not huge for their um, general specs is their footprint size. The sole is slightly longer in the deck, so it'll take up a little bit more space that way. But as you can like really clearly see, the Pro 2000 is a lot taller. This tablet holder can go away. So if you want to eliminate some height, you can, but it's still significantly taller than the Sole F80. So it does make it feel like a lot bigger of a treadmill. So there's a few tech differences between the F80 and the Pro 2000 that are probably gonna have a lot to do with your decision making. Um, first of all, they both have a smaller screen than other treadmills. So the Pro 2000 has a seven inch backlit screen while the Soul has a nine inch backlit screen. But uh, they're both backlit. They both do a track view. They both share a show about the same amount of data while you're running. You know, it's really typical stuff like your lap, your time elapsed, your distance, your heart rate, that sort of thing. Um, the Pro 2000 comes with a tablet holder. That can be really nice. It has this adjustable size right here where it'll clamp down on, on your tablet or your phone with like a soft padded backing so it can grip onto it a little bit better. But this is also removable. Um, the F80 doesn't have that. Uh, that, you know, might make a difference or not. Um, the uh, user interface for these two treadmills is is similar and different. So like I said, they both show about the same data while you're exercising. Um, none of them are, neither of them are very complex and um, they both have the backlit screen. The, I would say that the Soul F80 is a little simpler to use and navigate through than the Pro 2000. So we have in-depth reviews, video and written for both of these treadmills separately. Take a look at those to get the specifics of what we're talking about with their programs. But really briefly, um, with the Soul F80, it's a little bit easier to use because all your programs are right here. You can choose, just hit a button if you want to do hill, fat burn, cardio, strength, um, interval, and then they have additional like settings that you can um, 
customize for users. So you have two users that you can customize settings and then two heart rate based workouts. But again, you just hit the button. It takes you right to that workout. There's 10 workouts on here. So not a ton of options, but very simple options. Um, and it's just easy to find your way through these screens. With the Pro 2000, it's kind of tricky. Um, you can look at their fitness apps, but it's not super clear how to get from one type of training to the next. You really have to do like a lot of shuffling through programs. And because it's an LCD, like backlit type of screen, it's hard to differentiate between which programs you're on. So this treadmill does take a little bit more time to learn and to get comfortable with. Um, so you can just hop on and do the workout you wanna do. Uh, the, again, like all the buttons for changing the incline and speed, I think are better placed um, over here on the Pro 2000, but navigating through their programs and getting to where you wanna be is a little bit easier to figure out on the F80. Um, the Pro 2000 does come with iFit integration. So if you're an iFit user, if, you're, if you love that program like I do, this is a really good option because you can you know, with this button right here, you can pair your device, your phone or your tablet to the treadmill and then access all of those iFit workouts and have it track all of your workouts in your iFit program. Um, so it gives you access to, you know, integrating with iFit and still being able to use that with this treadmill. Um, the Soul treadmill does come with a fitness app that you can get for free, but it's very, very basic. Um, you can, pull up their fitness app, which is just called Soul Fitness, on your phone or your tablet, and you can actually control the functions of the treadmill from your tablet, which I don't know if that's more convenient than just pushing the buttons, but if it is, then that's great. Um, there is a little bit of glitchiness if you're controlling on your device and switching back and forth between controlling on your console and your device. So a couple of bugs to work out with that, but they do offer a free fitness program. It's, it doesn't offer like workout videos and, and programs like iFit does, but it does track all of your data for you, which is beneficial as well. So those are two big differences on there. We also have a lot more info about iFit um, and other workout programs on our website. So you can look for those reviews as well to understand their programs a little bit better. Um, Lastly, if you, you know, iFit not included, um, if you consider the workout programs that these two have, the F80 comes with 10 programs pre-installed, while the Pro 2000 comes with 32. So it does offer more program variations, um, but again, it takes some time to figure out and understand the treadmill and how to shuffle through their programs and and read their screens and stuff. So it's that's why really a lot of this comes down to personal preference. Um, and we really do urge you to check out our more detailed reviews about their programs and these different treadmills in general, just to get a better understanding for these differences and you know how they're gonna affect your daily use. Mm -hmm. All right, so our bottom line comparison of the Proform Pro 2000 versus the Soul F80 is that it's really gonna come down to personal preference. Um, at treadmillreviews.com, we do prefer the Pro 2000 um, just because it offers a little bit more with the iFit integration um, and we do like the visual look of the treadmill better. Um, there's just, you know, subtle differences that we prefer. It comes down a little bit quieter. It has a little bit more powerful of a fan to it. Um, it's a lot easier to keep clean and the visual design is really nice. But the F80 is still a great option. Um, when it comes down to like the major differences that we see in treadmills that really make or break the bank, um, they are just so similar with their functionality. Um, again, take a look at the full reviews for each of these treadmills and really do your homework because it's just going to depend on what you need for your daily use, your entertainment needs, your program availability, 
um, your price range, and let us know what you think. If you want to read an in-depth written comparison, we also have that too, so you can check that out. Um, but again, we're gonna go with the Pro 2000. Um, let us know in the comments what you think between these two treadmills, especially if you are considering a purchase between the two, um, or if you have purchased one or the other, what you like and maybe what you don't like so much.